Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I am Ken Needles, photographer, Randall Lamb Roof. Today is Sunday, September the 22nd, 2013 AD. I'm a little disappointed, and I keep getting more and more disappointed about the super. About these, well, just the whole cinema lineup of uh, lenses. Now, they're great lenses, they're awesome lenses. But the more I read, the less I want them. And I'm disappointed in that fact because I really, when I first came across the 30 to 300, I thought, man, this is a heck of a lens. It's still art. But here's the problem I came across in doing more research. And this, uh, again, the 30 to 300 is a picture. This is the, uh, the 15 to 47. Or excuse me, 15.5 to uh, 47. But, but this also goes for the 3300. And that, and all the cinema lenses as far as I've, according to my research. And that is, they are meant for the Super 35 format. Which means, as you can see in the illustration, ooh, excuse me, in the illustration in the orangish red. If you have a full frame camera like the 1DC or the 1DX, uh, it's not going to be able to utilize full frame uh, or take advantage of the full frame capabilities of your camera. Uh, it's going to be cropped down to the circle or the area as you see here to the super 35 millimeter format. Uh, which in and of itself isn't bad, but if you have a full frame camera, you want a lens you want your lens to be able to take advantage of that full 35 millimeter to get the full quality, to get the full resolution and magnification. I mean, you I mean, you want that lens to take advantage of the full frame, and it's not, and it's very disappointing. And every time these lenses just start, like I said, I'm just they should be taking for 45 grand. Not only do they not autofocus, and I've talked about that in another video. But now I find out they're super 35 millimeter format and they don't take advantage of the full frame capabilities of the 1DX and the 1DC. And because of that, I'm disappointed. I wish they did. They should be. I don't know why Canon's making these lenses um, that don't take full advantage of the uh, full frame sensor. I just, I don't understand it. Now, I can understand if they have that option, you know, to go between either 35 millimeter or full frame. I can understand having that option. But again, Canon is not putting the options in these, in these, these cinema lenses that I, as a photographer, want. I want autofocus. I'm, again, I've got a, a link in another video about that. But here again, they're not giving me the option of full frame usage. Okay? Hold on, I'm going to sneeze. Achoo! Achoo! That's the way I feel about it. <laughs> but but uh, seriously, I mean, I mean, these cameras are great, and the the twenty eight to three hundred is a, a lot cheaper lens, and there's a lot of cheaper lenses that do the full frame. And I just, I mean, these lenses are cinema prime zoom lenses. I mean, they're awesome in a lot of ways. But the more the more I read, the more I do research, it's just like every time I read, I'm like, oh man, you gotta be kidding. It's doing that, or it can't do this, or it's not doing that. It's just ugh. they're making these cinema zoom lenses for the video professional in mind. They're not making them for the fact that a person who's using these lenses are doing photography and video. They're doing it. They're saying, "Ooh, here's a cinema, cinema being video. Let's make it for that." They're not taking into consideration that nowadays people are doing using these cameras for both. You know, I want a lens that does both and having options like autofocus having options like going between 35 the super 35 and the full frame um, should be in those options and I just it frustrates me that it's not especially when they're, you're paying 45 grand or 42 grand depending on which lens you're getting or 40 grand I mean these lenses are very expensive and in some ways they're excellent but in other ways, you're just like, what are they thinking? Common sense says they should have full front. It just it blows my mind. It makes me upset. I mean, I can't afford this lens anyway, so it's not really going to matter as far as that goes. But, um, and the reason I'm disappointed is because I want a 30 to 300 or a 20 to 300 that looks like this and does this, 
but doesn't either is full frame or has the option of switching between full frame and Super 35. Or, you know what I'm saying? Always gives options. Options are very important. You know what I'm saying? Um, I wouldn't be grabbing about the autofocus and the Super 35 thing if we had the option. But they don't give you the option. They say, this is the way it is. And these lenses are really nice in a lot of other ways. They're professionally made, heavy-duty, industrial, super sharp focus. But it's just like, ugh, it's, I'm so frustrated. I want full frame. I want my 20 to 300 to be like the 3300 where uh, I can twist it instead of push-pull. Have a built-in... Uh, this lens should have a built-in adapt like the 2300 has a thing where you can put a tripod mount on the bottom of it. Uh, the, this lens and these center lenses should have the same thing. Um, so I mean, it's just I don't know what they're thinking. Anyway, I want to quit ranting and raving. I just I'm disappointed again because I mean, Ken's got the is one of the best. Well, it's the best. Let's just say it, the best camera and lens manufacturer in the world and in some ways these lenses are very awesome but then in other ways it's like ugh, I don't know I mean I realize it is a cinema zoom lens and it's made for cinema video but they should be making these lenses in mind that you know it's going to be used for photography as well as video and autofocus and um, IS or image stabilization and and then have options for 35 or full frame or whatever else you want to have. It's just, it's frustrating sometimes. So I, I, I can go on for a while keep going, but I'm just, Ken, if you're out there, if you're watching or listening, fix it, make it better. Um, I'm still waiting for the 25 to 500. That's, that's the lens I would really like to have. I'd like to have a, uh, a 25 to 500 with uh, a two times teleconverter. A built-in two-time cell converter and a built-in uh, macro capability, so I can maybe you know switch from going from uh, maybe from to standard, which is, would, would be the twenty-five or five hundred, then they have the macro on one side or the uh, two-time cell converter on the other, um, so, similar to what they'd have with the the new one where they have the one point four. Um, uh, talking about built in, uh, they can do that. I think if they could do that, they can do it where they could, you know, switch. You could switch between the macro and the teleconverter and just the standard. So I mean, that would be my ideal lens. Of course, twenty five to five hundred would be awesome. But uh, that's my idea. But anyway, I'm gonna leave you with that. And like I said, I'm just disappointed. And I, I just want to make a little video saying, kind of ranting about my personal opinion on the idea. Again, these are awesome lenses for video, but it's just. As a photographer, I want to be able to have the photography options in there, and they're just, they're not doing what I want. That's, that's all, all I know how to put it. So, uh, that's my idea, my suggestion, my complaint. So, until next time, I am Ken Neal, photographer of Round Roof, saying thanks for watching, have a good day, and may God bless you. And hope, I, hope I haven't bummed you out too much, because it's still great lenses. Bye.